Hey, this is Eric, and in this video we're going to be looking at how to create interactive checklists in Google Docs with and without Strikethrough. Checklists are a convenient and effective way to stay on track and get things done. For our students, checklists can be used in many ways to keep track of items such as steps in a science experiment, self-monitoring of behavior, mastery of subject content and standards, tasks when composing and editing their writing, working through a math procedure, and much, much more. There are certainly lots of mobile apps, web extensions, and websites that provide checklist tools such as Google Keep. However, for many years, Google Docs did not offer a built-in option for an interactive checklist. Thankfully, Google has now added a real interactive checklist feature to Docs. With this new checklist tool, when a user checks off an item, the corresponding text gets crossed off with strikethrough formatting. Now, if you prefer not to have the text crossed off, I have come up with a workaround for that as well. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the checklist tool in Docs with and without the strikethrough. First, let's take a look at how to use the checklist tool as normal with the strikethrough formatting. So, using the new checklist tool in Google Docs is super simple. First, type up the list of items you want in the checklist with each item on a new line. Next, use your mouse to select the full list of items. With the items selected, now just go up to the toolbar and click on the checklist button to apply this new formatting. You will now have a checkbox at the beginning of each line. If you click on a checkbox, it will check the box and cross off the text for that item with strikethrough formatting. If you click the box again, it will remove the check and remove the strikethrough formatting. And that's it. Like I said, the typical use of the checklist tool is very simple. Where it gets more complicated is if you do not want the text to get crossed off when you check the box. Let's take a look at how to do that. At the moment, there is no simple setting to just turn the strike through on or off when using the checklist tool. When you check a box, the text will get crossed off whether you like it or not. The normal formatting option in the toolbar for strike through of text does not affect or override the way the checklist tool works. So how can we use the checklist tool but not cross off the text for each item? My workaround for this is to use tables and some special table formatting to make this work. Here's how we do it. First, we're going to create a two-column table to hold our checklist. To do this, we'll click Insert and then Table, and then we'll drag our mouse to select two columns and then as many rows as we need to hold the items in our checklist. When we click, this will insert a table into our document. We'll now use the column on the right to type in our list of items with one item per cell. By the way, if you end up needing more rows or fewer rows for your list of items, you can always right-click on the table and then insert or delete rows as needed. Next, we need to add the checkboxes, but we will do this in the column on the left. To do this, start by clicking and dragging your mouse from the top cell to the bottom cell in the left column to select all of the cells in that column. Now with the cells selected, we just go back up to the toolbar and we click on the checklist button to apply the checklist formatting to those cells. We still need to do some cleanup on the formatting of the table so that it looks nice, but you can already see how this is going to work by clicking on the checkboxes. The checkboxes can now be checked without crossing out the text, since the checkboxes and the text are separated into two different columns of the table. All we need to do now is adjust some formatting in the table to make everything look nice. First, we want to shrink the size of the left column since the checkboxes don't need that much room. To do this, simply hover your mouse 
over the vertical line between the two columns and then click, hold down and drag the dividing line to the left as far as you want it to go. Next, we may want to get rid of the table border lines. To do this, we will right click on the table and then choose Table Properties. In the Table Properties Settings panel, we'll expand the section titled Color. For the Table Border setting, we'll change the width to zero points. And that's it. You now have an interactive checklist that doesn't strike through the text when you check off your items. And for all of my educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com and follow me on social media and subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much and take care.